Hello and welcome to Glassnode Academy. Today we're looking at a Bitcoin metric called the spent output age bands, which is providing us a macro overview of the aggregate ages of different UTXOs that are spent on any particular day. So what we'll start with is looking at an overview of the spent output age bands and what the metric really is describing and what the inputs are to it. We'll look at how we consider the spent output age bands in our market analysis. And then we'll use Glassnode Studio to actually visualize and use the tools to understand more about the different trends and the different spending patterns that are going on on chain. So to get started with our analysis of spent output age bands, let's define a couple of terms. The first one is the spent output. So Bitcoin is a UTXO based chain, standing for an unspent transaction output. Whenever a coin is moved on chain, what's actually going on is it's creating an unspent transaction output or a UTXO, which holds some volume of BTC. From the time when that UTXO is created up until the time when it's spent, it begins to accumulate lifespan. And this is what we otherwise classify as age. So when we're looking at the spent output age bands, what we're looking at is on any particular day, what was the overall proportion of the different spent outputs, the different UTXOs that were spent, what was the overall life that had been accumulated by each one of those? And we categorize them by the lifespan and the age bands. So in terms of some key values and macro spending patterns that we tend to pay attention to, when we typically have a large proportion of the spending being young coins, it generally describes more day-to-day -day traffic. It's the same liquid supply, essentially changing hands, moving between different exchanges and moving between different holders. When on the other hand, we start to see a lot of older coins come back to life, what it's telling us is more about what investors from a previous market cycle or earlier in the cycle, what is their general sentiment? Are they bringing coins that were previously in a liquid cold storage? Are they perhaps coming back into liquid circulation? Or is there a change in long-term investor or smart money sentiment? So really what we're looking for is this difference between younger coins and older coins, or in particular, looking at a particular age bracket, perhaps people who've accumulated in the recent, recent months, and what that tells us about the overall market sentiment. So to then bring those concepts together into the spend output age bands, what we're really looking at is the proportion of spending on any particular day and classifying it by the different age brackets. So we can exactly see how many coins that were on the move were of five to seven years old or 10 years old, and how many were less than a day or less than an hour old. And we can classify the different spending behavior or the macro movement of coins based on that particular age and lifespan accumulated by those UTXOs. So some key values that we pay attention to, when we've got a lot of young outputs on the move, old coins generally are dormant, or at least in a proportion to the amount of younger coins that are on the move, and it generally indicates that on-chain volume is mostly the liquid supply. Coins that have recently transacted tend to be more likely to be retransacted. So it's generally the same coins moving between different hands. Conversely, when we see a lot of older brackets start to move, it tells us that older coins are being spent and potentially illiquid supply that's coming out of cold storage may actually be being spent back into liquid circulation. So it gives us a bit of an insight into what perhaps the smart money were doing or people who were otherwise accumulating in previous cycles. So now let's jump across to Glassnode Studio and we'll have a look at how we can actually visualize some of these trends and look at some of the different metrics and patterns that we can see. So here we are in Glassnode Studio. We're looking at the Bitcoin spent output age bands and in this case, I've applied a seven day moving average just to smooth out some of the daily noise and make some of these trends a bit easier to visualize. So what this chart is presenting is the different thicknesses of the, of the bands represents different age brackets. And you can see that the lighter yellow goes from one hour and it ranges all the way down to these dark purple colors, which are multi-year long UTXOs. So a first major observation that we can see and using the, the Y axis, which is telling us the proportion of overall spending that's of that different age bracket, if we turn on just our one hour and our one hour to 24 hours, so these are coins that are younger than a day, we can see that they actually represent more than 60 to 70% on any particular day. This is a fairly common day-to-day -day spending pattern and illustrates that the same liquid supply tends to be on the move and coins that have recently been spent are more probable to be spent again. If we then also zoom in and look at the one month to 12 month old coins, we can look at some of the coins that have been accumulated or moved by people who re more recently stepped into the market. So these are coins within the last 365 days, but excluding some of that day-to-day -day traffic. And we can see when we get spikes in volatility and where some of those coins are coming back to life, perhaps indicating changes in investor sentiment for people who are fairly recent to the market. 
And then finally, we can turn on only coins that are older than one year, for example, and we can really see where some of those older coins are coming back to life. And some key observations is that we tend to see these coins come back to life during periods of high volatility. It could be during bull markets where they're selling into strength. It could be during euphoric tops, or it could be during bear markets where there's a period of capitulation and panic in the market. So this is how we can use the spend output age bands to look at how different categories of investors who've held their coins for different periods of time, how they come in and react at different moments in the market.